sometimes a question I'll get asked by patients is, I have thin corneas, uh, am I gonna be a candidate for evil ICL surgery? It's great that they're already having that doubt in their mind because someone who's had a history of, let's say, being seen by a, another surgeon and they were told, hey, listen, you're not a candidate for LASIK, SMILE, or PRK, that typically means, look, there's something not quite normal with their eyes. And in order to safely do any form of laser vision correction, you need to have a certain amount of thickness in the eye to preserve the integrity of the cornea after surgery. Not just immediately after surgery, but long-term, so there's no issues down the road. And so if someone has thin corneas and they have a big prescription or they have a normal prescription and their corneas are just really, really thin, um, they oftentimes can be a terrific candidate for evil ICL surgery because we don't really need to remove any corneal tissue to add the ICL to the front part of the eye. There's no reshaping of the cornea, there's no removal of a lenticule, there's no creation of a LASIK flap, there's no exfoliation of the epithelium like we would have with PRK or SMILE or LASIK. With the ICL surgery, we're just adding the ICL to the front part of the eye. It's an additive procedure. So the thinness of the cornea typically doesn't matter that much. Now, why is the cornea that thin? Is it thin because a patient has keratoconus? If that's the case, we need to figure out before even considering vision correction surgery, is the keratoconus stable? Because if it's not, that patient may need something called corneal cross-linking, and they might not be a candidate for vision correction surgery for many years or if ever. However, if they were just born with thin corneas, and some people are just naturally born with thin corneas, there's nothing they're doing that's contributing to the thinness, then yes, if they have enough room in the front part of the eye, they may be a terrific candidate for evil eye seal surgery.